Let's go ahead and pick things right back on up. Yay! I've been doing some grinding in here. The story so far, Thank you, Mog. Is is that you? I won't let you go. <laughs> Too late. Okay. Time and memory. Fruit. Now you go back here. of academia is overrun by seath and the sealed pages of history may hold the reason why caius was here in this tower where the secrets of the past still lie lightning it was our faith in the tiniest chance that helped us get this far we might not know what kind of answers are waiting for us but there is one thing we've learned already Head is too dark to see. Sometimes it's important to just keep going. Yeah, Caius came to this facility as well, right? I don't know why, but he seemed convinced it was our fault the timeline was distorted. So we track him down and find out if he's the real thing. <laughs> that was a lot of work for one lousy access key. Time period. Hmm. Watch she go on. Look at Alyssa, but it can't be her. Let's find out for sure. Mm, in a minute. We must finish. Hear something. Come on, get out. Coo -coo -coo -coo. It's like the liveliness has been sucked out of the Augusta Tower lately. The people there are all so quiet and almost robot like. Although I'm not human, so what do I know? Anyway, back to business. Open up that wallet and shower me with gill. I'm not human. Blood God. Wound Ward. Oh, let's see. So I've done a ton of uh, grinding and stuff. I have that. So I did a slight bit more uh, grinding in this. To get Saboteur all the way maxed out. Now I'm going to work on Synergist for Sarah.
I decided not to utilize, like, any of the other ones that gave us stuff because, well. Ultima Arrow. Okay. So we can't use Ultima Arrow just yet. It requires a full five bar filled. And well, we haven't unlocked five ATB bars yet on Sarah. <coughs> and now that will have changed. Now let's get your uh, sentinel worked, my good sir. I'm gonna give you saboteur. Hear something, but I don't see that something. There it is. It was above us. Weird that the sound travels so far below. Not sure if this counts as that fun fact, but uh Logic circuits experiencing paradox interference. Locate and retrieve paradox source. Uh to get one of the artifacts. Please locate and retrieve paradox source. Uh, I must fight one of every single monster. Alright. Okay, now we have to go back and do the other side. Okay, is this this entire floor basically done? Yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Huh? She doesn't know who we are. I guess she's not Alyssa after all. Hmm. Alyssa? We used to know a girl who looked like you, but that was a long time ago now. Ah, uh, my apologies. I must recalibrate my previous greeting. It appears that you are acquainted with the original. Uh, the original? I am a duplicate of the Alyssa Zydel entity. 
My design is based on her biophysical data. She's a machine. A fabricated life form. Or a living machine. The semantics are irrelevant. The semantics are uh, irrelevant. Are the people who work here the same as you, Alyssa? Yes. Everyone is a duplicate. An artificial life form. Alyssa, you haven't had any other visitors recently, have you? Like someone called Caius, for example. Caius! The Caius entity came through recently, accompanied by a green-eyed girl. They were proceeding to the top of the tower. <coughs> you as well? Why is she here? Hmm, why is she here? Uh, there's treasure here. I've got it! They're here to look for some kind of treasure. There must be all kinds of stuff in this tower. <sighs> I uh, think they've got more important things to do. <laughs> if anyone knows the secrets of this tower, it'll be Caius. If it means resolving the paradox, we have to talk to him. We make the first move. Sounds good to me. Let's get our future back. Hmm. Alyssa, will you take us to the top floor? Of course. This way. <coughs> of course. If a person is created artificially, do they still have a spirit? They say spirit is a gift from the goddess, given to humans and humans only. We're studying contradictions, <laughs> with the freedom to make mistakes and the will to start over. Fly. And we owe all that to our spirit? So the legends tell us. Huh. Found a singular gill. This way, please. <laughs> What's happening? Is this a paradox? You see what's happening? Oh, it. The whole rocking back and forth side to side is a little annoying, but... So, uh, we already unlocked the other one for... What the hell Noel. was that? This was an effect of the paradox. You just witnessed an event that took place on this spot 187 years ago. Wait a minute. <gasps> so, you're saying the real Hope and Alyssa were murdered? Yes, after the tower was completed. During the proto Fallacy development project, the artificial intelligence and humans came into conflict. The artificial intelligence killed them? Because they were in the way? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Got it! You got it! 
others were killed in this tower. And then, after they were dead, the AI took control of the Academy. The broken Falci was created by a broken artificial intelligence. <sighs> Humans were betrayed, and then they were wiped out. And the duplicates were mechanical puppets that were built to hide what happened. <laughs> yup. Got the Orion, and this word Metro. You two have seen it. You've seen the forbidden history. People who know too much have to be buried. It stopped moving. Hmm. Looks like they closed the door on us. Well, now we've seen the forbidden history. Does that mean we're stuck here for good? <sighs> Two hundred years ago, you learned the forbidden history, and were entombed in that tower as a consequence. <clears throat> but now you stand before me alive and well once again. <coughs> what can that be if not a paradox? Do you remember what Kaya said? In his memory, the next thing that happens is, we die. That's why he acted the way he did. As far as he was concerned, we were supposed to be dead. He saw us 200 years later, assumed it was a paradox, and tried to get rid of us. But there's a way out. If we can survive now instead of dying, that will automatically change history. We can save the future. Agreed. Alyssa and Hope's fate are in our hands. Papa. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. Yep. <coughs> this is more than just an elevator malfunction. We've been sucked into the paradox. Uh huh. There's something strange going on with the system. All we can do is try to fix it, and not get our own wires crossed in the process. Well, I wasn't expecting to be attacked, so. Mm. 
Let's do things this way, see how that works out. Immediate Orion in my face. Honestly, collecting those analog circuits is amazing because they're worth a good chunk of money. Unfortunately, we don't get a ton all at once, but... We get just enough. Phoenix down, tuft. Well done. Five second fights are great. Alright, and this time we get... The Sniper's Eye. Why we want to take someone's eye, I don't know. But here we are, doing it anyway. I hate how well I can hear these things floating up there. <laughs> because I can't do anything about it!
No. <sighs> I'm a silly head. Once more. Now we go. I wonder if I can Crystarium or Flamander at all. Just a little bit. So for medics, what you want to do is ensure that you have a lot going into their uh, magic, so the mana circuits. Because that's a buff to their overall damage. Their healing, basically. this luminous panther crap. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the decade following the commencement of the proto Falsy project, a conflict arose in the academy between the eight construction and human creators. The construct insisted that the proto Falsy be imbued with the full power of a Falsy, but the scientists countered with the argument that the more, more dangerous combat functions were unnecessary. No compromise forthcoming, the project faced termination. 13A of the project director, Hope S. Time, was assassinated and the debate died with him. proto Falsy was eventually created with a full functional, functional ability to change humans into Lissi or Seat. The old cocoon fell from the sky because the Falci who powered it was gone. Then the proto Falci was created in its place to make cocoon float again. At least that's how hope planned for things to go, right? Right, but the artificial intelligence needed to build the proto Falci rebelled against the humans. Enjoy! How would I gain access to that walkway is the question. Maybe I can't in 200 AF, but I could in 300 AF. Going good. It's the afternoon though now, so. 
Can't go any better for a morning than uh, making it not morning again. <laughs> To the fifty second floor. This is great. The artificial intelligence that killed Hope and his team now seems hell bent on killing us. So you don't think the Proto Falci and the other AI are being controlled by Caius? No, I don't. Someone else is pulling the strings. Mystery! Let's start the investigation. First off, we question the lead witness and search the scene for clues. Then we narrow down the suspects and dismantle their perfect alibis. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I think we're getting off track. Hmm. We're almost at the top floor. I bet that's where Caius is. Better get our hands on an access key then. Could I just walk over there? Absolutely. Was it going to? Absolutely not. I mean, it's always morning somewhere. I use that argument to my boss next time he asks me why I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> well, sir, it's uh, <clears throat> it's always morning somewhere. I was joking, my boss doesn't pay attention enough to me to even realize if I'm tired or not. I was just saying like, oh, the reason I'm tired is because it's morning somewhere. And I'm always tired in the morning. I was just being dumb. That all. Ah. 
immediate bonk to an Orion. Potato the room. I wish I could remove things like Flame Strike and all that from Sarah's actual like repository of attacks because they're not useful for her. I mean, one thing I will say about uh, this Final Fantasy that I do very much enjoy... Oh, fudge. I needed to do that. Well, time to push more buttons. Uh, is the fact that I don't actually have to worry about magic usage. It's all ATB based. So obviously, you get less turns in an ATB rotation if you just, uh, you know, use it this way. But you don't have to worry about, like, running out of mana. You just have to wait. Which is a little nice, and a nice way to, like, change up the pace for something. Because they did that same thing for 16 as well. You know, you don't have magic, a magic pool. You just have, like, move costs. Why is that screen on the floor? That's broken. Nice broken visuals, game. That's supposed to be hovering like that one over there. <laughs> 
It just means all you have to do is manage how you want to utilize your time versus uh, expendable resources. Upgrades here for Lanitor. Top floor access key. Mm, this information is accurate as of the year 200 AF. The highest floor of Augusta Tower is the site of a gate that behaves differently from a standard time portal instead leading to a virtual space within the AI mainframe. To activate this special gate, one must climb to the top floor and directly access. This is the last key. Next up, the very top floor. Cirrus come here.
Death to the Flanitas! Uh, those gelatinous janitors! The problem is they never know why their job won't end. It's because they create the mess behind them! Infinite cleaning! Alyssa was telling us is true. You and Caius should be up here as well. But are they with us or against us? you doing Adam right. now, everyone. I don't get to that again must be a uh, different uh, different year for different areas I guess. Hey, that's good. I'm still planning on streaming that at some point in the future. But glad to hear that it's doing good. Looking good. All that. Not that I was expecting it to be bad, of course.
Did I miss? I missed. Sorry, Mog. I've had a potion somehow, though. Don't ask me how Mog found a potion. I have no idea where he freaking landed. Paradox agent. Almost done with that. Don't want vitality. Well, I kind of do. But... Chichu is one of those characters you want to make sure you get as heavy hitting as you can with them. choose the strongest commando monster you can get in the game, which we were able to get early, because we know this game. No one's hurt, right? Oops. I probably should actually click on that to see what it does. I think it requires a wild artifact, though, so... Which I don't want to utilize those until later, because there's only ten. Which, of course, doesn't seem like a bad thing. But, in case I need one sooner, and I don't have to go to the casino and buy one, unless I actually have the money. Ugh, casinos, yo. Gambling. I like doing it, but I'm quite bad at it. Ninety-three percent explore, which is, of course, excellent. Yup, yup. Oh, you gotta hit that Voltorb flip hard. Oh, you know, recording, streaming, work, the usual. Wild Artifact. I have three, but I will wait. I'll probably have to hit that closer to post-game, so...
What's required of renewing security guard requirements? <laughs> oh. Is it like you gotta maintain a certain amount of like education requirements, extra learning and shit? That's what my job requires. Extra classes every two years. 80 hours of it. This is a 51st. I was wrong. It was the 50th, I guess. Always feels so unnecessary. Yet, you gotta do it if you want your job. Stupid. Here, something freaking floating. There you are, in the corner. Jesus. It's probably one of those just in case, like, you need to uh, keep somebody, you know, alive and well while you're waiting for a doctor to arrive. Something, something precautionary. Object confirmed. Commencing utilization. We got an idea. It's one of those precautionary things that will most likely never be a situation, but it's one of those they can check the box and say, hey, we're covered. You know, gotta cover their butts legally. Don't blame them. Of course, that also means if something goes wrong, it's your fault, but they can be like, wipe our hands of it. <laughs> Alright, let's get a couple more points on you, too. Alright, Sentinel's done. this floor taken care of? Looks like it. So hard to tell sometimes. So for my lucky customers today, you get a big dose of spirit and zest along with your purchase. We love spirit and zest. Especially that zesty spirit. Love to buy level three, but our 
It's really quiet around here, so I've been talking to myself a lot, trying to keep things lively, you know? I get you. Choco. Lena. You all. Are you on your own? I brought you this. Why? What should we do with it? You must protect the timeline. I saw you in Ereba. I trust you. I believe in you. We're in the same time as when we met in Erba. So you're the same Yule? Yes. But who are you? Who are the Farseers? I am the Seeress of the oldest tribe on Pulse. My visions of the future are recorded and stored in the Oracle Drive. But that is long in the past. There is no more need to record the prophecies. I have Caius now. What do you mean? He is tasked with protecting the Cirrus and remembering her visions. Now and forever, he will remember the entire timeline. Caius. He is beyond death. What? You mean he can't die ever? The Cirrus possesses the eyes of Etro, and inside Caius beats the heart of Chaos. The goddess has gifted him the curse of eternity. He is a guardian, and his mission is to protect the Cirrus. The power to see the future is a terrible weapon. It can turn history into chaos. But then... I don't understand. Why are you helping us? I mean, you do know we're trying to change history, right? History... has already been broken. The timeline had been twisted before I met you. The distortion leads to a future of death and destruction. If you change the future, you can change the past and correct the distortions. The miracle that saved Cocoon has already been altered. Uh -oh. Someone who was meant to survive did not come home. Someone who was meant to survive? You mean my sister? You do, don't you? You're saying that lightning shouldn't have disappeared that day. It was because the future was changed. So, if we keep traveling through the gates and resolve all the paradoxes oh. that are happening... Yeah. If you change the future again, the true past will be restored. The past that you still remember, Sarah. Together, the two of you can correct the timeline. Did you hear that, Noel? We've been doing the right thing all along. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us something else? Someone has been laying traps for us inside this tower. Do you know who's behind it? Your enemy. It is here inside the tower. It has generated the contradictions that threaten you. The machine is sentient. A machine? So the Caius who we met earlier in Academia, he was... An imitation created by the machine. And what about the other Caius? The one we saw in the tower? He is real. He brought me here. And when we are finished, he will take me away. Hmm. Let's go. Yes, go. And please, let me see a new future. <laughs> we'll do it. Good. Yule and Caius have an absolutely terrible fate. Though granted, that is the uh, entire theme of Final Fantasy 13, 1, 2, and 3. Everyone's fate fucking sucks. I shall remember your pain. It will be carved in my heart, together with the memories of every other Yule. 
curse to die this way. Challengers of fate? Nah, nobody's challenged their fate. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm worried about Yule. Coco. Yeah, but if we're going to fight, we can't afford to have doubts. She's hoping for a better future and believes we can make it. <laughs> Look! Fake Caius was sent out from this place. But where's the enemy that you warned us about? <laughs> Proto Falci. So this is what you were meant by sentient machine. This thing has been behind everything. It's the one who turned the people into sea. And it's the one who's been trying to kill us in the tower. <laughs> The music in this game is just stupendous. I don't understand. How did the future proto Falci end up here? This place must be like the void beyond. A crossroads where the future and past intersect. And that would enable time travel. Man, do you realize what this means? The proto Falci could have used this place to travel through time and infiltrate the artificial intelligence. Then it could have manipulated the AI to kill all the humans in the tower. And build the Falci of Academia's future. You're saying the Proto Falci took control of the AI and ordered it to build the Proto Falci. It's a closed loop, a chicken and egg paradox. Right. A paradox is exactly what it is. The Proto Falci was trying to protect the distortion that gave birth to it. And it knew all along that it was part of the paradox. <sighs> Just a sec. If the Proto Falci can manipulate the past, that means. <sighs> It can travel back in time and rebuild itself. As long as the crossroads exists, you cannot defeat the Proto Falci, Kubo. Well, what happened was somebody changed something originally a long, long time ago, or at the very beginning, which created all of the issues anyway. And now you're just trying to correct things, but if you correct something, you know, you just create more issues as you correct things. Because that's how things work. Stop it! No! 
to Mog, huh? <laughs> you guys play rough, Kofo. You saved yes, the day. You, you guys great. play rough. Woo! We got an achievement for that one. Five starring that fight. Let's go! started building these things. proto Falci and AI both. Ah, uh, will you listen to me? Looking around for scapegoats. These fights are really starting to wear me down. I don't blame you. It's not gonna do us any good whining about the mistakes of the past. If we don't stop this thing from regenerating, we're never gonna get out of here! Throw Mog! Hmm. It must have a core it regenerates from. We can attack that directly. Mog! <laughs> you gotta help us. Search the Bow Sea for its weak point. <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> 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 Yeet! Sometimes you just gotta yeet the man, and by man I mean mog. Gotta yeet the moggle. If you had a pet mo moogle that could fight and hit things, but you had to throw him with all your might first, would you? Could you do it? Could you throw your precious moog? Everything for us. Yes, he can. So there is a correct answer for this. There must be a limit to how many times the Falci can revive itself. If we defeat it enough times, we can exhaust its supply of energy. <laughs> I like it. Let's give it a shot. However, as I said earlier, there is a uh, fragment for fighting every monster. Uh, this monster, the proto Falci, actually requires you to do all four of these triggers in order to fulfill all of his uh, things. Because each one is slightly different. Just slightly. They all have different, like, health and uh, abilities. But, like, one or two different things. Nothing, like, major. And also, there's a paradox ending with this. Unfortunately, you get no CP for this. Imagine if you could just farm infinite CP. I got it. It's not reaching through time and reviving itself. 
These are all just test copies of the Chronofal scene. So you're saying the original hasn't shown itself yet. Its face so looks like a gecko. Different every time we fight it. Right? And if that's true... We just have to keep taking out copies until only the original Falci is left. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, see, this one only has 11,000. The last one had 74,000. Choo meteorite in a minute. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> Chi Chu is away. Nah, the correct answer is to yell at hope. It's always yell at hope. Well, the only answer is yell at hope. The machine is manipulating the past. But then, there's no reason we can't either. Please, I hope you're watching this. Huh? Hope! Can you hear me? I've got a phone to pick with you. These machines you built... Sarah! ...are driving me nuts! Huh? <laughs> we yelled at hope. <laughs> you did it, Sarah. But I didn't do anything. At least I don't think I did. Can you hear me? Oh, I'm alive. Oh. oh. Oh, what a relief. You worry too much, Noel. <laughs> Noel isn't himself these days. I wonder if it's because he can't remember the future. Yep. It's understandable. No one wants to think they'll forget something that's important to them. This should be a light bulb. Because we're so bright. Anyway, Crystarium again. You know something, when you get mad, you sure do remind me of your sister. Be <laughs> careful, she might be watching, you know. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. Artifact of Rebirth. Have 
changed the future. The proto Sea that threatened Academia is no more, and in the sky floats the 13th Ark. The people have built a society with their own hands, using technology of their own devising. However, the day when Cocoon is prophesized to fall is drawing closer. The Academy has put into motion an ambitious project to avert the catastrophe. An ambitious plan. Future, you say? Are they real? Yep. <laughs> now, is that a polite way to greet old friends? I mean, we haven't seen each other in what? How many years? It's been all of 390 years. I guess you guys have been busy, huh? <laughs> Please come by my headquarters when you get a chance. You're guests of the Academy. Alyssa? Later! <laughs> Later, losers! Where do we find the Academy head office? It's probably the most impressive looking building. What about that one? Or... We got treasure hunting. After all said and done, you handled the proto Falci pretty well. What did you do with it anyway? I sort of have an idea of what happened, but I can't really explain it. Is it? Okay, that's where we came from. Got a 100% all the maps. But also keep our ears open for the telltale sign of shinies. Director Estheim, uh, Mr. Estheim, built the foundation of the Academy. He even helped build Academia. He does live up to his name. The people at the Academy prefer if we don't praise individuals. They don't want us to treat anyone like some sort of deity, like with the Falci. Hope also doesn't want that kind of attention, even though we don't like Hope. I hacked into the system's tracking system and changed my current location, so everyone thinks I'm at school right now, even though I'm not. Smart, stupid child. It's peaceful. I like how they made just regular walking escalators futuristic, 
by just making them blue and see-through, even though it's like, we already got these. This isn't future tech. This is just normal. Chocobocalina! Welcome to the Academy Datanet. You may access the following data files. The 13th Ark is an ancient Grand Pulse military facility capable of sustained self-levitation. The floating fortress is currently deserted and a number of Academy research teams have been sent inside to investigate. Scientists are primarily interested in the mechanism that allows the Ark to remain afloat without a constant supply of power from the Val Sea. The purpose of the facility remains unclear. Some theorists theories posit that the Ark was in operation during the war between Pulse and Cocoon. So that's the 13th Ark. You ever heard of it, Noel? No, it was never mentioned in the histories. Not in the future I came from. We might be getting close to the true timeline. So, but I wonder why we couldn't see it when we were here before. Maybe the proto fell sea was hiding from us. But why? People have always looked to the sky for signs of hope. Future! I hear academia is the place to be if you love big cities. You can do everything through a touchscreen panel. It's almost like magic, isn't it? Touch screen. I'm magical too. I can open shop anywhere. I can even prove it. See? 2003, envisioning a future that, well, isn't even that far in the future because we already got that shit, yo. <laughs> I could increase our magic a little more, but I don't wanna. You don't need more magic. I didn't want to close. Thank you and thank you. You're welcome How and you're welcome. You Chuck a terrific day. Thing new there. Thing new there. Lots of new here. <laughs> Thank you and thank you. Ah, uh, that was quite a fall. I'd like to point out that the guide I'm using is absolutely trash, as I have also talked about for the Dragon Quest VIII one. Is this alleys? Cause like... Well, actually, I could go... Hold on. What is that? Oh god. There we go. Going home was not relaxing at all.
There's a TV show I watch with my dad all the time. It has a really funny policeman in it. Are you hurt? I find that there's just random children who eat shit because they're running. It's like, does that make me a bad person? Probably. But damn if that ain't funny. I'm just walking here, and these children, they're running, and they're eating shit. Oh, my. You have a Moogle with you. Oh, they're so rare. I want one, too. Uh, I can't even imagine running in the first place, so. <laughs> that one's a bit harder for me. Going home was not relaxing at all. Less of an ew physical exercise for me, more of a can't physically exercise to me. This should be then the Watchman's Amulet. Yeah. It would be so cool if a bunch of monsters came. No, it wouldn't child. Somewhere around here is a hidden object. There you are. How did I miss that? <laughs> nice. Mob too far. I found fruit. Ha ha ha! Success. I work at the nearby boutique. I have so much fun choosing outfits for each customer that walks through the door. Ah. How can you resist playing with these beautiful pedigree chocobos? Easily. Wonderful prize is awarded those who give correct answers to every question. There are multiple quiz terminals. Go for a perfect score. Your entry has been accepted. Answer all questions correctly and receive a fabulous prize. Bend your mind to the task and aim for a perfect score. Here is your first question. Um. Hologram dance parade. The ATB gauge fills up during battle. What does ATB stand for? Oh, absolutely torturous battle. Hmm, no. I think it is awesome tasting banana. Anchovy tomato bacon? No, it's active time battle. Congratulations. Oh. Question three. We gotta get ten right multiple times. 
Or the crystal pillar appeared in what state was Cocoon? Floating. Also correct, question four. What weapon did the Sanctum Army bestow upon their skilled soldiers? I believe it is the Blaze Fire Saber. Pick a hand. What? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I'm actually gonna go look up this answer. All right, so if it was a vertical up and down, the answer is left. When it is horizontal, it should be right. Apparently, it's 50-50. What the fuck? <laughs> to Brain we are currently... Here is your first... Bullshit. Noel's weapon of choice, boomerang. This oh, fuck. I thought of Noel and immediately Welcome thought hope. I'm a accepted. dumbass. Here is your first. <laughs> what creature has white fangs? Uh... The Araman. Correct. Question two. Ba -ba what does Vanille lovingly call her hecaton chair? I don't fucking know. Hecaton. Congratulations. Ah, ba -ba. What role is Sarah capable of? Poet. Also correct. Question four. The Caldana root of the step is an invaluable plan. For which reason? What? They contain salt. Correct. Fireworks were created by Bodon resident who used explosives for work. What was the occupation? I would assume minor, but. Yeah, minor. Which makes sense. Seriously? <sighs> Correct. Frickin' fifty fifty guesses. Chocobo X. Which of the following will not be sold at Chocobo's fashions, which is scheduled to open next year. How am I supposed to know? Hermes shoes. You are intelligent. Question nine. I am intelligent. An academy scientist wrote a thesis proving some monsters are rattled by what certain human action? Tisking. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, it's tisking at it. Tis, tisk. Now for the final question. Bum bum. Are there many cactuar dolls, which is deemed the cutest? 
The Cacturana. A perfect score. Congratulations. We were so good at this. We Did got the you know that other terminal locations are accepting it. If you think it's Our Are you on this chokerific day? Chokerific day. So this is something we can't access yet. We need an upgraded Moogle ability. Okay, I do hear something floating around here, though. I don't want your silly coupons. What should I do with all this money? I made a huge profit for my latest project. I, I can't believe the academy. What should I do with so all much? this money? Donate it to me, please. I am a poor, poor. <laughs> you guys are out of towners, huh? Want me to show you around? I know a big city like this can be overwhelming for a lot of people. I've been asked to interview the people of the Academy. I plan on finding out how life will change for us now that the project is almost finished. I really enjoyed the boat. I can't wait to visit again. Oh, there it is. That's the thing that was driving me nail easy crazy. Okay. Is 
Now we want to go to Newtown. But I'm right here, so. You tried your best, Mog. Bad luck, Kubo. This is a weird spot. Mog, explore it. A uh, potion. Well done. He's definitely a ten. She's talking about me. No. Absolutely not. All clear. This is swell. You throw Mog to get people to be distracted from you. Dead end? I don't think so. More like hidden treasure trove. movie. The Imp was a big hit among a niche crowd that raved about its cutscenes. What did half of the movie consist of? What? Dancing Imps. I knew this one. Also correct. Question four. Bum, bum. Whose life revolves around collecting data on monsters? I don't know. Doctor. M. For Doctor Monster! Correct. Question five. Which of the following is not programmed into the sunglasses of the serendipity card dealers? Probably, uh, card prediction. But. Nope, extra vision. Keep it up. Red or black?
I was a 50 50 on that one, too. Correct. Question 7. Fuck. Ba ba! What happens to the seed that's unable to complete? Why, they become seeth. I need that one. Correct. Question 8. What was the name of the military squad led by Sid Reigns? That should be Psycom. Fuck me! Yeah, I was wrong. We hope you had now we have to do it again. Welcome to Brain Blast. We are currently- Brain Blast! When the Academy discovered the Crystal Pillar was a back condition, what solution did they come up with to try and secure? <laughs> Legalized squatting. Build a new cocoon. Correct. <laughs> what accessory is considered to grant wishes, but is seldom used because of its smell? Probably a chocobo feather. I just use that based upon the answers given. <laughs> uh, around 100 AF, which test was proved invalid and superfluous? Uh, I don't know. The role-based personality test. Also correct. Ba bum When Sarah became a lassie, she hit her brain with a bandage. Where on her body did the brand appear? Uh, it was her left upper arm. I was on her forehead! Correct! Question 5. It should be ACBS, but I'm not gonna guess. ACB. Yeah, it is ACBS. That's what I thought, but. Just in case it was like, actually, it's the network, but. <laughs> Nose was also on his left arm, just like Sarah. Correct. Question seven. What was the name of the device used by Sanctum's elite soldiers that allowed one to control gravities? Most likely a gravcom unit. Just like I thought Psycom was the obvious answer, it wasn't, so I'm gonna check some that I think could have a potential different answer. Which res regiment was Light being assigned to when she was in the military? I'm pretty sure it was the Bodum Security Regiment, but... Yeah, Bodum Security. Intelligent. Thank you. I like it when games compliment me. What is the famous painting by Garriant? The artist representing the new wave style of post cocoon. I don't freaking know. Garain. Cosmos. Now for the final. Ha <laughs> ha. What was the name of the weapon used to shoot cocoons garbage into outer space? I don't freaking know. What kind of garbage question is that one? The Mega Junk Cannon. I mean, it makes sense, but I would not have uh, gone around and guessed that one. Congratulations. Did you know that other terminal? If you think. He 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 he. I agree, Mog. Let's go left, go downstairs, turn right, go downstairs. Everything's fine. Go 
Sir, you're trying to walk up the down. What's with all the quizzes? <laughs> Welcome to Brain Blast, an Academy sponsored quiz game. We are currently accepting entries. Your entry in your mind here Brain is your first blast. question. How did the Academy revamp the program in order to provide more opportunities for the less fortunate? Well, that one just made sense. Correct. Question two. Around 158, what accessory inspired by Cocoon's pillar was worn by everyone as a sign of friendship? Cocoon charm. Congratulations. Question three. Marion, the main character of the show Black Loves, a split personality disorder. He has two occupations, a cold-blooded and assassin, and what else? Well, if you want the exact opposite, it's probably either a baker or a hairdresser, so... But I don't actually know, because... It's hairdresser! I would have gone for baker, so I would have been wrong. Also correct, question four. See, I know Marion, the librarian. Seasons. Correct. Question, Question five. five. The Sabbath is an event where people gather to watch monsters dance and frolic. Which is the best dancer of them all, though? The suck. Ubis. Keep it up. Bah, bah. The skyscraper's observation decking academy was built on a floor based on the incident of 100 AF. What floor is it on? The 100th. Oh. It's the 132nd. Flying Tortoise was Bowdoin's most famous hotel that was booked till the end of time. What was the attraction that made the resort so popular? An aerial hot tub, probably? Twenty AF. What city was voted the best place to live by the Academy of Scientists? Probably Academia. Yeah. You are intelligent. Thank you, game. Fuck off. Fuck. This can. We hope you have. Man, these 50-50 questions are the 50-50 worst. 
Here is your... Quay. I would drink an energy drink called Quay. Question two. Would you drink an energy drink called Quay? Hilarious because that's based on uh, Final Fantasy VI. Was the most common variety used for cooking? I would say it's green, but. Second. Correct. Was the name for Helix Brishon a conch shell? I don't know. So. Soil and toys. Soil and toys. Question six. Bam bam. Correct. Question seven. Wild broom. Probably the tail would be my guess, but. No, it's the coat. Correct. Question eight. After the annual singing competition, people shower each other with alcoholic beverages to celebrate the new year. What is the name of this beverage? Created using Chocopo's favorite vegetables. I think it might be Mimet, but... Yep. Because uh, my met is a type of gashal green. You are intelligent. Round 20A of higher ups of the provisional government of the academy butted heads, leading to the disappearance of a key person. How did they refer to this period? I don't know. The Dark War. Now for the final. What new service is provided? What new service provided by Chocobo Delivery Service? I don't know. Surprise deliveries. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Surprise Congratulations. deliveries. Did you know that other terminal if you think you have snowy fairy wings? Alright, I've gotten all three terminals. Was that is that really all of them? Maybe. Just a singular gill. They might as well just yeet Mog anytime we're in a city and it's a safe place. Even if it's just one gill, that's one gill richer that we are.
I yeet a Moogle who's shouting his name Koopo, and people are like, what are you? Uh, he's a fairy. He's the most wonderful of fairies. missing for a little while. Yay! Totally not my fault. What should I do now? Ta -da! What is that? No good. See, those aren't real. Koopo, Koopo, Koopo! At some point, I'm gonna go around and get a couple more of the hidden spots that I know about in the game, aka I looked up. I don't feel like it at this moment. When I get married, can I shop whatever I want? Well, no. Cool. Remnants of a spatial distortion have been discovered at the gate. That points to some sort of paradox having taken place here. Something's definitely gone wrong with this gate. Space time is twisted, so the gate can't manifest itself, Kubo. When the future is made certain, the gate will be fixed, Kubo. The future made certain. Does that mean we should help the Academy with their important job? Kubo! Kubo!
be a hop. No problems here. That looks fun. That guy keeps looking over here. He hasn't done anything yet, but it's creepy nonetheless. It's creepy. I'm hungry. The academy is open to the public. Feel free to. Do you know a girl named Alyssa? She works at the academy. Okay. Where should I go now? Okay. Here we have Captain Cryptic! Greetings, young man and young lady. How would you like to test your knowledge with Captain Cryptic's confounding quiz? It can't be. Amador? You know him? Yeah, he was in Cocoon's army. Lightning served in his unit. I've met him lots of times. I am Captain Cryptic, quiz giver extraordinaire. So, little lady, how about that quiz? That's weird, he doesn't remember me. Sarah, the Amador that you used to know lived hundreds of years ago, which means... Hey, uh, Captain, you're not human, are you? Correct! Captain Correct. Cryptic is a quiz-centric duplicate. Let's get started, then. <laughs> of all air bikes which was built for safety, probably the aerial cradle would be my guess, but... That's showing your smarts. That's showing your smarts. He's always somewhere. So you have to answer all of his questions. But the problem is, he disappears. Are they really that similar? Like twins. More brain blasts! We are currently Your entry in your Which is not one of the Academy guidelines for preserving the nature of Grand Pulse. Non-violence against monsters. Correct. Question two. She is a teacher. Congratulations. Question three. The Neil's unparalleled attack? Uh, 
Oh, it's their like ultimate for their main thing. And Vanille's main thing is saboteur, which is death. What coat pattern does Sarah's cat Snow have? Huh. He's a calico. All right, time to get to work. Correct. Question five. What hobby became popular among the feeble elderly who moved from Cocoon to Grand Pulse? Poker! I don't know. It's a good hobby. Oh, it was gardening. Keep it up. Question six. The extreme anti-academia terrorists perform what action to get their point across? Bombing invaluable ruins. Correct. Dum bomb. What flan is the same color as rust pudding? I think it's the Feru Genius pudding, but yeah. I just wasn't sure if the phosphoric one was also dead. Question eight. What is the famous line spoken by the famous actor who made it big in the show, Wild Rose? Do or do not, there is no try. Nope, it's your from the Rebel Army. You are intelligent. What was the name of the popular game show where eliminated contestants would get pushed off the stage? I don't know. <sighs> nope, to the underworld. During the Sanctum Rule, the film Free Will was banned due to a scene filled with what kind of questionable content? Indiscriminate free acts of terror, probably? No. Becoming a Seath by Will. A perfect score! Congratulations! Your name will be added to the list of esteemed quiz masters. We've gotten them all then. Right. I didn't see what we got, but whatever. Time traveling temptress. You can say that again. Maybe I should hit the gym. 
I am a researcher of monsters. Researcher My database of monsters. contains profiles of every creature in existence, from Cocoon to the farthest reaches of Grand Pulse. Yes, I have them all. Ah, it's been quite the trial. I scoured the records, you see, compiling data from the most obscure Academy files. My work is a thing of beauty. If anyone has research that rivals my perfect database, I would certainly like to see it. Collect enough enemy data that even he recognizes your brilliance. You believe there are monstrosities even my research is overlooked? Very well. Let us see the proof of your words. Return to me when you think your data log has captured details on every monster. Do you understand? I do I mean, mean every, every single, single monster. monster. Every! Like, it gives you a check if you've gotten all the data on it. You don't have to, like, fully, like, Libra-scope every monster. You just have to have battled every single one. The problem is that you have to find every single one. Welcome to the Academy Head Office. Monster data. An impressive amount of research for an amateur. For an amateur. I'll show you an amateur. Just got another one of the special monsters, the Silver Chocobo. a plan to build an artificial Falci. It was called the proto Falci project. He wanted to use the new technology to re-levitate Cocoon. But then one day, Hope saw a certain prophecy in the Oracle Drive. So I activated the Oracle Drive and watched the prophecy. I saw you fighting the proto Falci, and I saw you screaming out at me. <laughs> the machines are driving me nuts! Well, I was getting pretty ticked off by that point. <laughs> well, exactly. So we were forced to reevaluate the project and eventually abandon it. Okay, you saw Sarah getting mad at you, so you canceled your project and then poof, the proto falci disappeared. Is that about right? Yeah. We didn't destroy it so much as it never existed in the first place. We were following the wrong path to the future. If the proto falci had managed to get control of Cocoon, 
It would have made itself the second Eden, and we'd be back where we began. Yeah. It would have been just like how it was on the old cocoon. We realized we couldn't let that happen. We had to levitate cocoon using only human technology. Right. Not to mention that if you had kept with the original plan, your machines would have killed you. Really? We don't we owe you our lives? Thank you. Buddy, hmm. you lose your temper and the whole future changes. <laughs> Just like lightning. <laughs> Wait, where did help go? Need to talk to help! Oh, whatever. So, I bet you're dying to know how we came to the future, huh? Kinda. You heard about the time capsule we used? It's a device that slows down time only for its occupants. The effect is caused by the creation of a powerful gravitational field and, well, essentially we just slept as the outside world flashed forward into the future. This capsule of yours can't take you back, can it? Unfortunately not. And considering it broke down after a single use, I doubt it'll prove to be a popular method of time travel. You risked your own life for the sake of Cocoon. Oh, the director was there with me. Hey, Sarah. After coming to the future myself, I... I think I understand how you must feel. The Academy has welcomed us with open arms, and we can research as we always have, but... Sometimes I get these terrible anxiety attacks. Alyssa... Please, Sarah. You have to let me apologize for the way I treated you in the past. Maybe you can't forgive me for that. I hope as fellow time travelers, we can face the future on friendly terms. Yep. I hope this date is actually- Millennials! The Academy has made progress on its investigation into the 13th Arc. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the Ark's reactor is powered by an ore cluster, known as the Graviton Core. By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. That is good news. <laughs> Wait. So now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th arc, for example, requires a single graviton core. We're going to need multiple cores, and we can't seem to find them. Need a hand with the search? If there's one thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. Yeah. We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. I'll put together some data on graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Oh, okay. Thanks. Collect all the graviton cores required to levitate the new cocoon. The scientists at the academy need you to bring five. I should have a handful of them already. Alyssa and I decided to come to the future to observe the 13th arc. The structure that appears in the sky of this time period. That thing that's floating above us now? Yes. In the end, we abandoned the idea of restoring the old cocoon. Instead, we plan to build an entirely new shell. Of course, there's still the problem of how to keep such a creation airborne. A whole new cocoon. That's an ambitious plan. Sure is. And that's why you're here, to find out what keeps the Ark afloat. Exactly. When we learned of the Ark's appearance through the Oracle Drive, we had to come and see it for ourselves. There are so many important things I need to talk to you two about. So many, in fact, I'm not really sure where to start. Hmm. Did you find out anything about lightning? So, have you learned anything else about lightning since then? Actually, I had this dream. While I was asleep inside the capsule, I could hear lightning talking. You heard her? I'm sure it was your sister's voice. She told me I'd made the right choice, that I was on the right path. Lightning. She's still looking out for us, isn't she? Huh. So Lightning knows what will happen in the future. 
I don't need her to hold our hands or anything, but is it too much to ask for a little sisterly advice? If she gives too much information to you, it could change the path of history. You could think of her silence as a sign that everything is going as planned. That's just the way lightning operates. Only those who hold on to their resolve and find their own path through time have the right to change the future. No compromises, huh? I think lightning is preparing for a battle. And she doesn't know what the outcome will be. When that time comes, she'll need people at her side that she can rely on. Yeah! Where did your travels take you? We ended up at a casino called Serendipity. Have you heard of it, Hope? Hmm. There's an ancient legend that mentions a palace by that name. The story itself is incomplete, and nobody knows how it's supposed to end. So it's a paradise that was never finished, huh? Right. But we won't be letting our story end halfway through. Please hand any graviton core. Please hand any. Ah. Okay, so we got Alpha. I can't believe it. You found a graviton core. If you don't mind, I'll just take a sliver for my research. Did I tell you? The director is inventing a new device. The Academy has been making progress on the development of a paradox weapon. A very powerful weapon that feeds on time distorting energy. So there's an Ultima weapon. Using a paradox against itself, huh? For each exactly. of them. There's a possibility we may come up against the man who appears in the Oracle Drive recordings. The war has already begun, and we're fighting to protect the future itself. But to get it, you need all 160 fragments. Against Caius. But guess what? You only get this super-powered weapon. You, were missing a you need to get all the fragments, which you only get by chaos, basically it's full clearing the game. Paradox energy. But according to the data, it doesn't exist in this time period. Well, hey, you've still got us. And we've got the Historia Crux. I knew I could count on you. Once you've found the crystal, I can build you a prototype. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we can get you an ultimate weapon to help you save the future. But to do that, you have to have already saved the future. Great. But we won't know that. Crystal Star! <laughs> All right! I get it. <laughs> Alyssa told me all about you. You're helping us find the Graviton cores. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? In perfect timing. I just got an update with the latest info. So this will tell you where you have to go. Score. Is it really that valuable? Oh, yes. The Academy have sent survey teams all over the place. They've searched everywhere, but they haven't found a shard of the stuff. Hmm. But according to this latest data, our scientists use resonance imaging to identify a possible deposit. So we do have a defined location where a team can start looking. But it's just... It's just what? It's in the wrong time. Well, it's kind of in a different time. <laughs> Sounds like a job for us, all right. Here, show me that data. <laughs> show me that data. Brescia Ruins! Uh, Erba. An Academia. And Yashis Massif. Erba, Sunlit, Waterscape. Hmm. 
would change the future, but it still needs our help. I bet we can find that ore. They need a way to lift the new cocoon into the sky. And we can help them do it. Maybe that's why we've been brought here. Kupo. I should give mom a call. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start looking for Captain Cryptic. Jumping 400 years into the future must be a bit unnerving. See, we want to listen to people, because they'll give you hints on where he is. What is this place? All clear! Hello? The transmission's fine. Y'all have nothing to fucking say, yay? Alright. Huh. <sighs> A total of 11 places he can spawn every single time. We're gonna go to the place with the largest number of his possible spots, which is over here. the guide location for this. Alright, give me that map. No problems here. Where am I? Uh, I wonder which restaurant you find. Right. If you find one you like, if this is one place, he's not here. Oh, there he is. Exercise that gray matter. Exercise that gray matter. Uh huh. In the step, how do the smaller sheep act towards the bigger sheep? I think they linger, but. Yeah, 
Yeah. You have to let it linger. Oh, well done. Question time. Oh, more each time, eh? What is the desert area of Erba called? Ashen sand? Yep. That's showing your smarts. Quiz ranks s s sarge j j j Where Captain Cryptic is. Where? Hey, hey. I know where Captain Cryptic is. Where, child? I saw Captain Cryptic walking that away from the west. Yay! We make that sure away all of our to the west. I saw Captain Cryptic walking that away to the west. What is that? I have enough clothes for my dolls. I want more clothes for me. I mean, I guess. Just go west, so. <laughs> right? Children. My alarm clock didn't go off this morning. The issue isn't that my alarm clock didn't go off, it's that my alarm clock goes off and I don't hear it. All these children just running around and eating literal shit. How broady your brains have come! Silver Lobo is seen in many circus troops. What is one act it cannot perform? I would say sawing someone in half, but let us just... Yeah. Ensure. Oh, -ho, well done! Question time! Oh ho ho! What color of the cactus is the image drawn in the center of the hunter camp and the step? Red, I believe. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. Question time. Oh, this one's easy. Borg bears can't summon idolins. That one was an obvious answer. Another winning answer. And we <laughs> it really does look just like Amadar. I bet they used the lieutenant as a model when they made this duplicate. So I just borrowed his appearance then. That explains why he doesn't remember you. Have you seen my brother anywhere? Have you seen Captain Cryptic anywhere? Hello. I wonder if Dr. M would buy this. Hello. Is this your first time coming to Newtown? Ugh. Maybe I should visit Daddy at his office. Well, there's only one other possible spot for him to be here. So, we're going to go visit there. 
it should be right here. Okay, so he's not here in Newtown. Easy enough. There it is. What's going on? Imagine you just had to constantly run back and forth in a giant metropolis just to answer stupid questions. When Sarah lived with lightning, they had matching accessories. I don't know where the jewelry was. Right arm. Oh, oh well done. Question time. Bam, bam. The Professor Yang series started off as an educational publication, but is now a popular hologram novel with over 100 volumes. What was the title of the first novel? Uh, mystical creatures for the clueless. Yes, you are question time. Graviton core. Ha! Very good. Question time. AMP technology? I don't know. Water a gear. Yes, this round is yours. We're a colonel. The quiz man was at a dead end, looking forlorn. I laughed a little. Quiz man was at a dead end, looking forlorn. <laughs> well, there are a lot of those, so. In fact, most of his locations are dead ends. Oh, I like that one. I'm back here again. The drinks are cheap right now. I want a cat, a real one. Might be east side, which is really unfortunate. Can't wait to visit again. When I get married, will I be able to go shopping whenever I want? I'm not trying to hit on you, I swear. Honestly, I'm just gonna 
cast my lot with him being down one of two places over in Newtown. That was such a cute haircut. Hi. Where are you going? Here goes. Where are you going? Here goes. He was just at this one. And he's here again! Okay. Come on, Mom. Weird. Are we ready, my little lad and lass? And away! Question time! And away we go! What floor did Sarah Noel get trapped in the Augustus floor? Well, I mean, technically, not. Huh? We got trapped on like every floor. Oh, well done. Question time. The remains of what facility can be found in Erva? I, I believe it is a school, but yeah. Yes, your question time. <sighs> How many blades? Three. Time. What is used in the creation of various signs? Holography. Oh, well done. Question time. Why does the move developed by Matthias? The best wrestler in Ac Academia's Pro Wrestling League that is based on the movement of the Yaksha. Probably War Dance. Yeah. Enough. Even Captain Cryptic has his limits. You You've mastered, mastered my, my quiz. quiz. And now I have a message to pass on. A message for Sergeant Farron. Good luck. That is all. A message? A lightning? He's not a duplicate after all. I am Captain Cryptic, quiz giver extraordinaire. No, he's definitely not Amadar. But how does he know about my sister? Maybe we'll never know. But there is one thing we can tell for sure. This guy is on lightning's side. It's up to us to get his message through. It's up to us. Ooh, we've been completed an entire fragment selection. Because we're just so good. Got everything we need here in New Bodom.
Sorry, Mog. I wish there were like better instructions where like some of these are. Got found, we found the Cacturina. Well done. Thankfully. There's an adornment somewhere over here. Oh, that's... Nice. Go, 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 go. Here he comes. 
Sorry, Mog. Okay. It's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Also be over there. Try like two more tries to get this specific adornment. So one of the Graviton cores that we already turned in came from right here. I came back and got it as soon as we got the Choco uh, reveal ability. So that's fun. Tabasque Toad.
spicy Sicilian. Crystal apple in his mouth is nice. You don't need a light bulb. Crystal star is cool. Oh, thank you, computer. Just wondering when you're gonna do something stupid. Took it long enough. Chichu. to the HC. Now we're gonna go to Fresh of Ruins. The next graviton. Oh, 
succulent fruit. Awesome. Come on, Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. There's lots of succulent fruit here. Oh, looks like we ran out of succulent fruit. can find, rarely, purple chocobos in this area. Although Atlas has been deactivated, monsters still appear left and right. Wait, this could be a jump that we could do with a, um... Brekkie and coffee, good thing to have. And in your case, at noon. <laughs> Go, go, go. 
You deserve a treat. I got this. How's this? I'm gonna use the wild artifacts I'll yet. Over. It's for later. Great. Don't even let me do anything. Guys, took care of everything for me. Fine. What's that? A butterfly bow. I doubt it's better than what I got, but I might as well try. It's not. It's your weekend. Why wouldn't you sleep in? I rarely eat breakfast, so. My first meal is usually lunch. And then my last meal is usually dinner. Sometimes your body says, I don't care what you do. This is what we do. Sometimes you gotta roll with them punches. A unicorn horn. I mean, I do get it though. Like, you lose your entire day, but. Or it feels like you're losing your entire day. True. You do have to wake up earlier. Yup. That wasn't even a warm up. That W. <laughs> Don't mind the Moogle. He's just rummaging in the sewers. I don't think I want to eat that succulent fruit we found in the sewer water. Personal opinion. <laughs> you found a suspicious comm device? Let's, Let's see. see it. Here we go. This is the source of my headaches. It's emitting the exact same ID sig as my communicator. Wait a minute. These two devices look exactly the same. They even have the same scratches on the casing. What the hell? Is this what they mean when they talk about events that shouldn't be happening? There's a theory that the paradox effect ignores the boundaries of time. If that's true, then maybe a future me somehow wandered into the present and dropped my communicator, landing me in this mess. 
Uh, you know what? Let's not think about that. My problem is solved. I'll leave the mind-bending paradox theories to the experts in the academy. Thank you for sorting this out. He's just like, I'm not paid enough to think with my brain hole. I'm like, well, if that's the sentence structure you use, I agree. You are indeed uh, not paid enough to think with your brain hole. Alright, I need Erba 200. About to find out. You did it. Come back. <laughs> Got it, just like us. Well, there it is. All right, we need Mr. Choco Bobo. Probably buy more Gashal greens while we're at it. I have super. Yes, I know you. You don't have any here at this shop. Fine. Just as the Thank you kindly. My big old chicken horse. Come on, I thought this place seemed a little sus. I would love to explore more of this place, but unfortunately we cannot. 92. Because we can't explore this giant, like, water area. Which means we're missing something, probably from serendipity. Whatever. You did it! Damn you! All right, back to the crux. Let's go to serendipity real fast. Yet. If you present me with Boo. <sighs> Gogmog. Time 
Alright, we want to go to New Town. Are in Newtown. Go to that warp game. But because I want to maintain this barrier for easy grinding in the future, we have to take the hard way. <laughs> That's fine. Yashus Massif. The ancient city of the Farseers has become the site of a terrifying phenomenon. The first stage was a noticeable disruption in the local space time. Next, members of the Academy research team began to vanish one by one. Finally, as if to replace the missing people, floating crimson spheres appeared in their stead. It was not long before rumors of the Padra Ruins curse started to spread. Something is happening in the ruins of what was once the most prosperous city in the world. Many of the scientists and researchers who came to investigate the site have gone missing. And when they do, ominous sphere-shaped objects appear in their place. Mog seemed to know all about the orbs. He told us they're called the Rubies of Grief. They're manifestations of the remorse and sadness left by the unlucky souls who disappeared into the Paradox. Paradox. The orbs resonate with a powerful emotion sealed inside. 
kind of message are they trying to tell us? Did you come to visit the ruins? You may want to rethink your plan. The paradox effect has grown out of hand. Do you see the red sphere-like object? That said, the air... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I've learned here is that life has always been hard, no matter what the era. Paradox is the existence or materialization of something that shouldn't be. My previous boss was transferred here from the Brescia ruins. He taught me everything I know. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. He was a nice man, and he took care of me. He was my mentor from day one. If only he hadn't come here, he'd probably still be alive and well. King. The bulb of hope. Oh. Do you feel that? Yeah. It's like someone's talking to me inside my head. I'm Carl! This is the last place I was alive. I don't have any regrets. My life was pretty fantastic. I had a lovely wife and daughter. I loved my job, and I died doing what I was passionate about. It was just so unexpected. You know, I have this daily ritual where I come to work, and the first thing I do is look at my daughter's picture for that day. The paradox swallowed me up before I could do so. Oh, okay. What you heard were the voices of the tormented victims who disappeared into the void beyond. <laughs> Horrifying noise, but... In anguish remained here, Kubo. I know, right? I get it. So that's what that was. Is there anything we can do for them? I'm with Noel. Let's help them find peace so they can- I have a job place. that I can handle. The orbs don't appear to be sentient. Mm-hmm. We don't like red chocobos. They drain us of Gishal greens. Records show that an evil monster was behind its destruction. Get the box, Mog! Just a remedy. Hoping for something better. Lots of boxes. I have super low everyday prices. Picture frame. All right, we can complete that anguish quest. Find 
The Pitter Hatter. Blessed Blade. He doesn't use magic. I'm doing a time paradox nice. at the moment, so... Uh, let's see if there's anything down here. Nope. Oh, 
I assume every time I finish one of those side quests, another one of the uh, side quests here, the Yashi Smasif will open up. Electrified Mog. We should leave this in the hands of the military. What if the descendants of Padra... I'm this close to finding the answer. Are you, though? I recognize that picture frame that's mine. I can't thank you enough. Just looking at my little girl's face, face smile every morning gets me through the hardest of days. I bet she's grown up so much. I wish I could see her, but I need to stop thinking like this and move on. I had a wonderful life. No regrets. You're too kind for granting me my last wish. May the goddess bless you. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah, now a different one wants us to do a side quest for him. Who knew this area would be so dangerous? Yeah, oh no. What I've learned here is that life has always been hard. No matter what the era. Also true. Koopa Koopa. Yep. I'm like a seed that never sprouted. I feel like I had some kind of potential I was never able to discover. I spent my life researching the history of Grand Pulse. I died before I could do anything with the knowledge I had. I'm like a seed dying within the soil. No chance of seeing sunlight. My life ended before I could really flourish. Can help but think of what it could be what I could be doing first so that we can help me with my dilemma. Uh Is that a flower bulb? I see you're giving me my chance to sprout to grow. I never had the chance to do anything special, but I know I can care for this and make it grow. I'm going to show this love and attention until it blooms into a flower so beautiful it brightens everyone's days. If you have a second, could you plant it somewhere close? I would do it, but uh, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like supremely depressing thoughts there. <laughs> Uh, no, not that one. Ooh, a 
green chocoba. Let's go, medic choco. Choco. My name is Sarina. Do you have time to listen to my sword? I feel awful about what I did to my best friend. She loved to sing and invited me to her first concert. I promised her I'd tell her exactly what I thought of it. When the show was over, I typed her a message, but I was swallowed up by the paradox before I could send it! Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, rip. So. Anyway, this is where we are gonna leave it off for today, and we'll pick up again tomorrow with some more 13 2 so anyway thank you everybody for watching i hope you all enjoyed and until the next time everybody stay funky people <laughs> <laughs>